Hey everybody, what's up? I've got a really awesome video for you guys today. We're gonna be playing some old school games while eating 1980s candy. One day Cass and I went out to eat dinner and um, on the way back, we saw this mom and pop candy store and we popped in real quick just to you know take a look and see what they had. And she saw this right here, 1980s nostalgic candy. And she snatched it up for me real quick because you know I'm you know from the 80s. So she thought I would like this and you know I do have a sweet tooth. So we are going back to the 80s in this video, eating some nostalgic candy from the 80s. You can see I got my 80s cassette shirt on. And we're gonna be playing some video games that came out in the 1980s on the NES Classic. Everything's old school in this video. So that means I need to Get rid of this. This wasn't in the 80s. Uh-oh. All right, I think we're just about ready to get started. So let's take a look at this box of candy. I haven't opened it yet. It's still got the plastic on it and everything. So let's take care of that real quick. All right, so this is the Nancy Adams 1980s Nostalgic Candy Mix, a flashback in candy form. Eight ounces of candy in this thing. I really like this box itself and I've been trying not to look at the box because I want to be surprised at what candy's in here, but obviously I'm gonna see something on here. But I'm digging the aesthetic. I like that punk rocker over there. That's very 80s. Got some nutritional information here. The candies in this package may contain the following allergens. Peanuts, tree nuts, wheat, milk, eggs, and soy. And we have a little note on the back of the box here. This bodacious mix of candy will totally... Hold on a sec. This bodacious mix of candy will totally bring you back to the 80s. A decade of synthesized music, video games, and acid wash denim. We're not doing that. See right there, video games from the 80s. You had leg warmers in every possible color. Shoulder pads. I didn't wear shoulder pads back then. Jelly shoes and posters of Madonna on your bedroom walls. Trapper keepers, I had one of those. Could be found in every locker in school along with cassette tapes. For your Walkman, it seemed the world had gone neon, your mom had a perm, and all your friends wore friendship bracelets. We did. That was very popular back then. You made it through the 80s and had the big hair to prove it. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. This was distributed by Nassau Candy, Specialty Confections and Fine Foods, Hicksville, New York. All right, I'm going to blow your mind later in this video. There's going to be some Inception stuff going on here. Remember that, Hicksville, New York. Not even going to look. I'm just going to pull something out. Sweet Tarts Giant Chewy. These are delicious. I love these. All right, so let's turn on the NES real quick. Have some candy. Take a trip back to the 80s. All right. Oh, oh. forgot about that controller length. Hold on one second. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. All right, so since we're only playing games from the 80s, let's categorize these by release date. There we go. And now I know for a fact that Mario Brothers 3 came out in 1990, so we can basically play everything from Double Dragon 2 and back to Excite Bike. Green Chewy Sweet Tart, probably Sour Apple or something like that. Taking all these guys out so easy. There we go. We came in sixth. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, it looks like we got some runts. I used to love these. You know those uh, quarter machines where you put a quarter in and you turn it and you get like candy or something? I used to always do the runt machines to get some runts. Thinking back, that may not have been the best way to get candy. Do another green one, a little green something. And we'll play some Ice Climber. I haven't actually sat down and played this game. And man, this candy's hard. Where you can swing the hammer and hit these little Yeti things. There we go. And break the blocks up. And I guess we're supposed to just go up. The jumping is kind of weird. You don't have a lot of uh, horizontal movement. Oh, that was it? Bonus stage already? Oh, we're timed. Uh oh, we can't swing our hammer anymore. I feel defenseless. Okay. Bonus stage. Can I make it up there to that? We don't have a lot of time. Wait a minute. Or you can pause on the bonus stage. Good. Need some more. Need to refill the red heart one. Oh, this one's really sweet. Cherry, maybe? Do I just need to make it to the top? 
Come on. I grab the pterodactyl. Uh oh. Uh oh. Last one. Well, I don't know if we did it or not. Well, I guess not. That's a crying Eskimo. All right, let's see what's next. Tootsie Roll. Man, I love Tootsie Rolls. I'll eat these even today. These are delicious. Next up, Super Mario Brothers. This is a classic. Also, this is the first game I ever beat. I think I was six when I beat this for the first time. Six or seven? I talked about this in one of my other videos that this um, really, I think, changed a lot about gaming, just how smooth it is. And this one kind of set the standard for games that came out after it. If it wasn't at least as smooth playing and as good as the, you know, the original Super Mario Brothers, then may not turn out to be that great of a game. Did you know that the least amount of stages to beat this game, I think is eight, one, 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 two, four, four, one, four, two, and then eight, one, two, three, and four. All right, we all know Super Mario Brothers, so let's move on. And we have some new candy. Smarties. Not as good as Sweet Tarts, but still not bad. Usually if I got these in some kind of candy, I'd still eat them. They're, they're pretty good. Kind of chalky. A little bit, a little bit chalky. What's up next, Donkey Kong? All right, we're gonna play Donkey Kong. We're gonna shove a few of these into our mouth. Not my favorite arcade game. Oh my gosh. They kind of did a remake of this game on the Game Boy I thought was always real fun. And there we go. We saved, I think that's Pauline. Good job, Mario. The first story ever in a video game. I think we're gonna skip Donkey Kong Jr. and Mario Brothers and go right to Balloon Fight. But first, what is this? <laughs> Bubble tape. Who remembers the bubble tape slogan? Six feet of bubble gum for you, not them. Don't share your candy, kids. Why would you do that? We're not gonna go for all that. We'll take a little bit. I do like this little case. I don't remember if the cases were like that back then or not, but yeah, you just unravel it. Six feet, six feet. Next up, Balloon Fight. I always thought this was a really fun game. Never got into it, you know, very, very seriously. Oh no, uh oh, yep, we lost one of our balloons. This gum doesn't have a lot of flavor. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Some say that this is like a copy of Joust. I see the comparison, but I think they're pretty different games. Uh-oh, lightning bolt. Oh, is he gonna get eaten by the fish? Oop, saw it real quick. I gotta find something to put this gum on. Don't swallow gum, it's not good for you. Tootsie Roll wrapper. All right, what's next? Jawbuster. Jawbreaker? More like a jawbreaker. I think maybe these used to be jawbreakers, but now they're called jawbusters. I didn't like these candies back then. I mean, all you do is suck on them for a while and that's it. They just last a long time. We're not gonna finish this candy on this video. Next up, Ghosts and Goblins. I love this game so much. Oh, this tastes okay, it's kind of sweet. Swoops in, takes a girlfriend. There's a trick to beating the uh, the red armor up here. I'll see if I can do it real quick. That plant, man, those plants are really annoying in this first level. Uh oh, these zombies are everywhere. Why would you put such a hard enemy at the beginning of the stage? I get in the arcade, but man. Oh no, I don't want that fire. There we go, all right. So that fire is gonna stay there, it's gonna get in our way. So you hit them and it'll fly up and then you kind of stay on the ground. Uh oh, yeah, the fire's in our way. Stay and then eventually he'll start walking like that and then you just get into him, but we didn't do it right. There we go, see? Works every time. Just stay on the ground, don't freak out, and you'll take care of him. Alright, what do we got next? Feels like another jailbreaker. Nope, what is this? Fireball. Atomic fireball. I don't want to eat this one. I hate these so much. I hate cinnamon candy. Oh, what are we playing? Gradius? Okay. Yeah, let's play a really difficult shooter with my mouth on fire. Mm. Mm. Oh, hate this. Hate this. God, not the game. The game is really good, but this. <laughs> oh, mm. oh, it's disgusting. It's the worst. Why do people like these? How can people like these? There we go. Oh, I forgot about the volcanoes. Great. Time to get rid of this. I'm gonna wash it down with some sun-kissed orange soda. All right, so I know this video is about the 80s, but how about some 90s trivia real quick? Who loves orange soda? Oh, Castlevania's next. Sweet. What do we have here? Oh, I think I know what this is. Pix 
fantasy stick. I'm gonna have a sugar high. Grape flavor, here we go. Oh yeah. Castlevania on a sugar high. Oh, but I still got fireball taste in my mouth. I'm gonna check if there's another pixie stick in there. I can't believe they sold those to children. All right, I'm gonna try and do a skip here to, you know, get past that whole bottom merman part. I've done it before, I've done it a few times. I think you gotta stand right here, watch this. I'm trying to bop over to that ledge right above. We'll give this a few more tries. Gotta hit that bat just the right way. There we go, skip that whole bottom section. What else have we got? Here's a big one. A ring pop. <laughs> okay. This is a lollipop on a ring. I think they still make these. I think they still make a lot of the candies that I just had. Woo, there we go. All right. I don't think this will fit on my finger. Maybe the pinky but it is looking rough, man. I mean, that is not, I would not give this to anybody. I think it's watermelon flavored. Strawberry. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this and play at the same time. And I, yeah, I don't, this won't fit. It fits that far on my pointer finger. How about the pinky? It won't even make it through my pinky. What do I do? Eat it like a pacifier? Could I play like this? What are we playing? Kid Icarus, okay. All right, that's very uncomfortable. This is a good game. I played this on the Game Boy uh, years ago. Never played the NES version, really. Game Boy version was difficult, and I'm pretty sure I've heard this version is also. Looks like a lot of fun, though. This thing is weighing me down. All right, what's next? Oop. Got another pixie stick, we'll save that for later. Ooh, another Tootsie Roll? Nope. Kind of. Tootsie Fruit Chew Lemon Fruit Roll. Never had the lemon one. I've had the fruit Tootsie Rolls. Like I've had cherry and strawberry and grape, I think, but I don't think I've ever had lemon. Lemon's not my favorite uh, candy flavor, but lemon heads are good though. I do like lemon heads. All right, what's next? Metroid? Mm, that might take a while. Legend of Zelda? Uh, punch Out, here we go. We'll play some Punch Out. Last Joe is a pushover. Recently, me and some of the guys over on my Discord were trying to get the achievements for this game. So we went through playing like the whole game, trying to beat everybody and you get different achievements if you beat them through a KO or a TKO. Um, so it was me, first try, what? So it was me, steve -O, Kamla, and Rex. But steve is a freaking machine. He went through, he, he got all of them. All right, what do we have? Ooh, oh, this one's broken. What is this? Stick candy? It just says Jillian stick candy. Does anybody remember stick candy? I don't remember this. I don't think I ever had this. What flavor is this? Licorice flavor. Black licorice. What are we playing? Oh, we're doing gun smoke. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? It's broken. I'll take the small piece off the top. Black licorice and cinnamon are like the worst. Oh, I'm eating this tiny little piece here. This is disgusting. I hate black licorice. Licorice. Red licorice is okay. I like Twizzlers. I wonder if there's any Twizzlers in here. Was that 1980? All right, Gunsmoke. All right, so you remember at the beginning of the video, I talked about the company that made this? Hicksville, New York. All right, so we got to take care of Bandit Bill. He's used the rifle. So this is a port of the arcade game. Um, you can shoot diagonally left and right by hitting the B and A buttons. If you hit B and A together, he shoots straight ahead. I love this. Um, you don't have a lot of Western themed games, period. And even less, this may be the only one I can think of, a Western themed shooter. Oh, this candy's terrible. There it is. There's my steed. The horse, and I liked the little getting on the horse animation. That was cool. Getting rid of that forever. Box is getting kind of light. I think we're getting near the end. There's a few more, few more things in here. So what is this? Hold on, I can't. There, there we go. 
Oh, Starburst. Okay. Starburst. My coworker brings these into work all the time. She gives them out to everybody. These are great. I love Starburst. What flavor is this? I think it's the red. Oh, we're running out of games. We'll do Zelda 2. We don't do a lot of Zelda 2 on the channel. So here we go. Starburst with Zelda 2. Very different from the first Zelda. Very different from all the Zeldas. Uh-oh. This might be a bad idea. I forgot I need the candle. Here we go. Just wanted to power up our magic. This game gets a lot of, I don't know, not hate, but people seem to not like it as much. I think it's awesome. When I was younger, my mom uh, didn't play a lot of games, but this was one that she actually did play. I remember renting it from the video store and she played a little bit of it and she never played video games. So it does have a little bit of actual personal meaning to me. I think we'll play this on stream one day. What's next? Oh, this feels like another, we got another Starburst. We have two more things. So we only can play two more games. This first one, ah, we have Laffy Taffy in the worst flavor, freaking banana. Any other flavor would have been a better choice. Any other flavor, this is the worst one. But you take what you can get. Don't cry about your candy. That is some first world problems. Man, this looks like plastic. I mean, wow. So I think we only had one other candy in there. Ooh, we have a choice of three games here. Ninja Gaiden, Mega Man 2, and Double Dragon 2. We'll do Ninja Gaiden first. That's a, that is a super influential game on the system. So Ninja Gaiden, Banana Laffy Taffy. You know, I'm not a fan of this flavor, but it's not like the Fireball and the Black Licorice. I can handle it. I would just never get this on my own. Um, I've beaten this one. I don't think I ever beat two. I might have beaten two. Never beat three, I can tell you that. I made three stupid hard. All right, we made it to the boss. Let's just shoot him with some shuriken. Oh, we're all out, but we can just stay right here and slash away, I think. Oh, he got one hit on us. What the hell was that? I always like running up to him, feeling like I'm doing some explosive combo or something. I don't know. I was a weird kid. And cutscenes, you didn't see this hardly at all in games back then. This was different from anything else back in the day. So who's there? It's a lady. We don't have time for her. She's got shoulder pads. I don't know, Mega Man 2 or Double Dragon 2. I think I want to do Double Dragon 2 just because I streamed Mega Man 2 just last night on the Sega Genesis Mini. So our last candy, what do we got? Oh, it's like a cube or something. Oh, it's, it's just a caramel. No packaging, nothing, just regular old caramel. We're gonna go with Double Dragon 2. The Revenge. I don't know much about the story of these games. I know it's like post-apocalyptic, but I didn't know that when I was a kid. I just thought it was, you know, just cool looking. FYI, Caramel is sticky. So, we'll do some Double Dragon 2. Caramel from the 80s. I like the difficulty modes down there. Practice, Warrior, and Supreme Master. Here's the story right here. I never read it as a kid. Never. I always thought it was cool you can attack in two different directions. If you hit the B button, they always attack to the left. So like a punch or a kick. And the A button attacks to the right, no matter which way you're facing. And you gotta jump if you hit them both together. And if you jump and hit them again, well, you got the jump kick also, but there it is. That spinning kick. Where are all the bad guys? There we go. Oh, there's the, oh, we almost fell off the edge. There's the whip, or that looks like a mace. So this should have given us some idea of to how this game was. But when you beat them up enough, You'll see in a second what happens. He just disintegrates. But he comes back. I never questioned why that happened, but it's the whole post-apocalyptic thing. You know, he's like nuclear or something or whatever. He's been changed somehow and he's kicking our butt. All right, so that's all I have. We finished up our candy. We've played through a bunch of 1980s games on the NES Classic. I had a ton of fun with this. So if you want, you can probably find this candy online somewhere. It is the Nancy Adams 1980s Nostalgic Candy Mix. They also make other mixes from other years. Like I think they have a 70s, a 60s. They might even have a 1990s that we could look at in the future. So I want to hear from you guys. Let me know if you've had this candy before when you were kids. Um, if you played these games when you were kids, which of these games was your favorite? But that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through Patreon. Eric Colon, Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, William Wend, Yaroslav Oruzov.